being the top scorer in the league, it is no surprise to see our cameras are focused on him. But can he add to his tally today? We'll find out soon. Hello from Catalonia. This is the scene here at this intimate venue, the Estadio de Montelivi. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It is Girona, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And the starting 11 for Girona. David Lopez plays alongside Daly Blint in central defence, and a formidable striker in this setup in the person of Christian Stuani. Viktor Tsigankov and he read it well intercepting it Vinicius Jr Luka Modric and on to Bellingham now with Estuani well, who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events no reason at all hang on Derek, it's a chance here and a goal! They start as they mean to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. So Real restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they find an equaliser? Good looking sequence. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Foiling his opponent completely. Oh, splendid skill. Losing possession here. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Rodrigo. Aurelien Chouameni. He cuts it back. Real chance. Oh, that's a fine save. And taken short. Can he open them up here? Stopped a certain goal. Good work to regain possession. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. A lot of space to attack. Chance to cross. Pressure applied. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Federico Valverde. Vinicius Junior. And Bellingham. Modric.
Well, Real Madrid have certainly had all the possession over the last 15 minutes, and up to a point they've looked threatening, but they need to be more clinical if they are to get this equaliser. Decides to shoot. Oh, he saved it well. Corner from Modric. The clearance wasn't decisive. On a time for composure on the ball. Arnau Martinez. Solis. Yangel Herrera. Zigankov. That's useful play. Stuani! And defending as a unit. Valverde. Plenty of support here. Opportunity. Oh, a fantastic save. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. Not a foul, but the advantage with Real Madrid. The struggle to keep the ball from Real. Opportunity. Can they keep it out? Oh, chance taken. There is opportunism for you. But a disappointed goalkeeper. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Well, when things are going wrong, it's always the manager that's under fire. Ancelotti needs to make some big calls here. So, back underway, with the lead standing at 2-0. Carvajal. Well, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Could cross it in here. Valverde. He's trying to create something. Well, what a stop that was. Arnau Martinez. Sigankov. Well, moving the ball forward, they might be in business. Can't miss, surely! And the keeper, there to deal with it. Played over. Well, capable of a better clearance than that. Herrera, and it's opening up, and a goal this time, applying the finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. First half display, and just look at that score. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Valeri. And so it is, the first half story has been written.
Well, the story as far as Jude Bellingham is concerned, a struggle for him to make an impact. Yeah, he's not had his usual impact, has he? He just hasn't got on the ball in dangerous positions. He's got to keep working hard to find that little bit of space to make something happen, that's for sure. So the ball rolling again, and Real left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Look at Modric. Now with Valverde. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Now the counter-attack looks on. Look at Modric. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Valeri. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfil that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. Gabriel. Modric. And he's got the beating of his opponent. Rodrigo. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Viktor Tsigankov. Tony Villa. Well, they have the ball once more. And we really are at the business end of the cup competition. The semi-final first leg, live action to come on EA TV. It's Girona against Barcelona. Well, I can't wait to see how the coaches set their teams up for that one. Both will want to lead going into the second leg. And Modric might fancy it. And a struggle to get it away properly. On a time for composure on the ball. 30 minutes to go then. And he did well to cut it out. Vinicius Junior. Can he find the right pass? It has to be! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And time for the change now. Short corner taken. Now you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Christian Stuani. Well, this is the home of live football and we have more action from La Liga coming up for you. It's Real Madrid and they'll be taking on Granada. Vinicius Junior. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Teammates available. It might be on for them. Can he take advantage? Marvellous anticipation. And intercepts again. 
Just 20 minutes remaining now. Bellingham. Real Madrid have given it away. And threading it through. Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Clean challenge. Rodrigo. Romelu Lukaku now. Oh, they have it again. This is looking threatening. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Not the pass he had in mind. Modric. And now Rodrigo. Jude Bellingham. The ball with Luka Modric. Vinicius Junior. This looks more than decent. But was able to do his job defensively in the end. Can he convert? Well, he's just spooned it over the top. And they will make the change now. Borja Garcia. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Tony Villa. Oh, managing to beat him. Valeri. Now with Villa. I think they were expecting a bit more from that attack. So a throw in here. So making the substitution now. Dovbik and space to exploit maybe Vinicius Junior and Bellingham and one minute of stoppage time has been added on that's a splendid pass from Romelu Lukaku looking for the angle Militao and there goes the final whistle. It ends in defeat for Real Madrid, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, the fans are right to expect more. The tempo of their passing was too slow. They were second to the ball too many times and were beaten by the better side today. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.